Hey y'all, it's me, Addison. Um, so I'm still in the same purse. I have not switched out of the Indiana Rose. Um, and I would just like to say, okay, this is my robe. I'm a little chilly. Um, it's rainy here. It's gray. Takes me back to when we lived in Washington. And I'm just thankful that I'm not having to be out in it today. But, so this is my, my cozy robe. Um, I just have to say that I... I'm so appreciative of the comments and the encouragement I received. Like, I don't think y'all know how much that means to me. Uh, and how fun it is to read comments, respond, learn more from you guys. Um, like, what works for y'all, what doesn't. And um, learn the way that you think about things. I don't know. I just, I find it really awesome, interesting, encouraging. So... Um, yeah, thanks for, thanks for coming along on this, uh, journey, a fun ride and chats about purses. So I did buy a purse. Um, uh, however, <sighs> there's a reason behind it. Uh, no, I, I've been wanting this purse for a really long time. Well, not the specific one. I'm like digging myself a little hole here. Okay. So <laughs> I love the Carson. And I had ordered a um, green, like olive green leather Carson last year on Poshmark. And I was so excited because I hadn't been able to find one. The girl had it listed for like 100 And then a few months later, I went back and checked and she had it marked down to 50 I was so excited. So I like, well, okay. So there looked like there was a pin mark on it on the front. And I was like, hey, I just want to know, is that a pin mark? Because, you know, sometimes like the lighting can make it look a certain way. And she was like, no, no. She said, nope. I was like, okay, well then I'm going to buy it because everything else looks great. Um, and then it was, I think they give the, the seller, I think it's seven days to ship to like, until you can like request a refund or whatever. It was seven days. I was getting very aggravated because there was no like, hey, um, I'm sorry I haven't been able to get in the mail yet. It's, you know, whatever. And so I was like, okay. Okay. And then I started getting really upset because <laughs> uh, I'm impatient. Um, but just the lack of communication everything, it just was starting to irk me. So um, on the seventh day, it was like, do you want a refund or whatever? And I was like, yes, I do because I haven't received it yet. Um, nor has she, and I think I might have reached out to her even, and I hadn't heard anything. So I get my refund and then she ships it. And I, I don't under, anyways, it came to my doorstep. Um, and I was like, oh, maybe, um, it'll be exactly, I don't know. I was like, okay, well then I'll like repay her for it since it's here now. Open it up and like. On the leather ones, the front label, it's almost like two staples uh, to keep it inserted. And those, like, it was almost coming off. The staples were, were so loose. That was definitely a pin mark on the front. And, like, someone, either her or someone else had tried to, like, erase it. So it was smudged. I was just so unimpressed. There was, like, a lot of wear on it. And, um... But I had the purse, so I, I contacted Poshmark. I was like, hey, I already received my refund. The purse came in now, um, but it's not in the condition. So anyways, all that to say, it was not a fun experience. I was super bummed because I was so excited because I was like, this is such a cool color. It's leather. It's Bear Bradley. It's the Carson. Like, it's all the things I want. And um, it was a bummer. There's been a lot of black I've seen on the um, resale sites, but I'm not typically a person who wears a lot of black. Um, and I have a Vera Bradley Mallory satchel in black, which I, y'all, that leather is amazing. It's buttery is the best word I can describe it. It's beautiful. It's buttery. I love the fun pop of interior, but it's black and um, I don't wear a lot of black. Um, so I don't get a lot of use out of it. So I knew that if I got the Carson in the leather, I probably wouldn't wear it um, as often as I should. So, um, all that to say, five minutes in, um, 
I was on Poshmark and looking up Vera Bradley Carson's just you know it's been like a hot minute since I'd looked up the leather ones and I had seen this style before I don't know what it is because they didn't have it on QVC like I looked up on YouTube like details of it I could not find it I cannot find it on the Fair Bradley page because it's not a pattern but it's oh, I'm gonna show you it is this oh my gosh y'all oh my gosh I'm so excited um she had it listed as like boho Vera Bradley my husband's robe so classy okay there we go um but she had listed as boho leather and it's suede right here and here and then the sides and bottom are like leather and I asked her I was like is there any wear on this bag you know like what's the catch and she was I was like is there any stains holes wear whatever on it and she was like um there might be a little bit of wear but other than that it's fine um and she was selling it for twenty dollars I, and I was like, okay, th this may be, you know, another whatever disaster. But this is what I was talking about right here. Like, you see these two silver lines? It was, like, being it pulled out because, like, right there you can see. I don't want to mess it up too much. But um, on the first bag that I had looked at or that I had bought, um, that was, like, almost off. But this one, like, no, it's not. Um, it is heavier than the cotton, for sure heavier, but like, oh my gosh, uh, oh, $20, y'all, $20. I, I gave her a great review. I was like, I'm so stoked for this. Um, this is the inside, and I love the interior pattern, and that was like, I remember getting the green one and being so sad that it was in such poor condition because, and honestly, I probably would have let it slide, you know, had it like been awesome communication speedy delivery but like I just already had a bad taste in my mouth <laughs> and so I was like this is just so sad because it's it's not what I wanted um but this just oh my gosh I'm so excited it's got this like stitching throughout um it's like a paisley I love paisley and it's almost like a paisley stitch like leafy paisley stitch with the silver uh, I don't know what it, grom not grommets is it silver jewel uh, but it's a bedazzled Vera Bradley but um, yeah I just I love it and it's got the two pockets right here with that fun pop of lining and I love the colors. Like, it's just that, like, purple and, like, a fiery orange with that um, mossy green. Ugh. It's just so beautiful. So, inside has it. This is, like, um, the older. I don't know. I don't think it hurts. It's not scratching me, so I don't know. Um, but it's the older Ver or Carson where it's got the, um, like, charging thing. And I don't have one, but I do like to put my keys there. So, that works for me. Um, and it did come with the shoulder strap. So, I am interested to see how this will fit or how this will um, feel because it is leather. So, it's a lot, um, a pretty good amount heavier than the, um, regular one, but, oh my gosh, I'm just so excited, I'm so excited, but yeah, so this is my purchase, I'm not switching into it yet, aren't you proud of me, because, yeah, there's no weird smells at all, like, oh, I'm so happy with, um, this find, it's just so cool, um, and I feel like, with this style purse, if things start fraying, if things start falling off, like, it's kind of a cool, 
a it's not a polished look so I don't think it's going to look like it's it'll give it more character maybe I mean I don't want it to happen but if it did I'd be okay I mean I would I don't want it to happen but it's not the type of person I think that I would have to stop or I would feel like I'd have to stop caring if something happened to it like if this came off or if some of these started coming off or like some of the stitching started like you know coming undone um yeah I'm just uh, I'm so stoked so yes go me I'm not changing into it I love the ideas of treating it as luggage the the caboose sling um because that's ultimately what I'm doing right it'd be like my carry-on for car rides so um but yes um I'm very uh, proud of myself because I've stayed in it for almost two weeks I guess so yeah with some temp hard temptations but um, yeah this is something like you know once again I'm not gonna um, go into it yet but uh, it's it's there. I had to get it. It was $20. It's what I had been looking for. Um, more, I, I think I even like it more than the green. Um, I tend to wear more, I don't know. I mix match jewelry. This has got some gold and silver. All of this is silver, but this is rose gold. Like I mix match my metals. So it doesn't bother me that this is silver. Um, so yeah, I'm just, It's all good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm loving the Indiana Rose. I did change out of the Dooney and Burke wallet update. Um, and I moved back to just a Bear Bradley turn lock. I have a new one, new to me, Fox, Foxwood. Yeah, Foxwood. Um, uh, that is in like my closet in the top in a bag with all the other purses so that I'm not tempted to go into them. Um, but my old like zebra print Vera Bradley wallet was easy to access. As much as I wanted to like try out the new one, um, I decided it best to just go with what was on top. But who knows, maybe I'll change that out now that I'm talking about it and I have some time to do that. So I think I am going to sell the Disney Dooney wallet as sad as that makes me. Um, I just, it's such an awesome piece and such a happy piece that I want it to be used. I want it to thrive and it's not thriving in my closet. So, um, but yeah, I hope you guys are having an amazing week and, um, yeah, <laughs> thanks for, uh, coming to chat. And, um, if you want to comment, I look forward to reading them and chatting with you down below. I'm not the best like writer. Um, and I don't know how I come across with my writing. Uh, my husband makes fun of me because I'm, I write so many exclamation marks because like I want it to know that like I'm happy, I'm excited, I'm like it's all good things, you know. <laughs> I feel like if I put a period for me personally, I don't. When I read people who have periods in their sentences, I don't think that they're grumpy. I don't. I I don't think that about them. But I feel like if I did it, it would feel like that. That's how it would come across. So, um, now you're going to be <laughs> looking at my comments and like, oh, she does do a lot of exclamation marks or smiley faces. If she, and like, and I, I, there's like a quota that like I have created for myself that I'm unaware of what the quota is, but I know when I've hit it, I'm like, oh, that's too many exclamation marks. I need to change that one to a smiley face or like, I don't know, um, what goes on inside my brain. I, I can't even tell you. Um, <laughs> so, but I do look forward to um y'all's comments they're just y'all are great <laughs> y'all are so great um so thank you for that and um if any of y'all have a channel that you have I'd love to watch some of your videos so let me know down below um so that I can see what's going on in your neck of the woods so all right I'm, I'm getting off now. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but I hope you guys have a uh, wonderful Sunday. Be blessed.